so you have no Instagram followers. In today's video, I'm going to show you five hacks on how to boost your Instagram reach. So if you're ready to get more Instagram followers, stay tuned. Hi, I'm Jay Marie, and every week I post two videos that show business owners just like you how to hack the system and grow their business online. My content is geared towards those individuals that have small followership but want to grow to bigger and better things. I've been working in the web design industry since 2001 and since then I've picked up a thing or two and I want to share all of that information with you. So let's get into these five hacks to boost your Instagram reach, shall we? Number one, post fires. Jay Marie, what are fires? Fires are fun, informative, relevant, engaging, and shareable content. You want to post fires all over your feed so that your followers want to engage and want to comment and want to share your content. So let's go through them real quick, okay? Fun, you want your content to be fun. It's social media for goodness sakes. Keep it upbeat and lighthearted, unless it's something that really is serious that you wanna tell your, your followers. You wanna keep it fun and upbeat when you're posting to Instagram. Number two, you wanna keep it informative. Inform them of something, educate them. Let them know something that they didn't know before. If you want to inspire them or motivate them to do something, if you want to educate them on a subject matter, if you want to focus on how to's or what to do when something happens, you can do all of that. You want to inform them. Now keep in mind this one key piece of information. Use the 80-20 rule. You want 80% of your content to be informative, informational, um, upbeat, great information. And you only want 20% of your content to be selling to them. If you have a brand new account and it's a new account or it's a small account and you don't have a lot of followers, don't go straight into selling to them. You want to back up, give them some time and some room to breathe, let them get to trusting you and trusting the information that you're putting out there and put all this great information, valuable information out there. And then from there, you can sell to them. But don't just come straight out the gate and start selling to people and these people don't know you. Let them get to know you before you begin selling anything to anybody. So that's informative. Relevant. The content that you post on your account should be relevant to all the other content that's on your account. So you should theme out your account. What is it that you are going to be posting about? You can't post about everything and anything in between. You need to figure out what specifically it is that your account is going to be about and that's what you're going to post about. Now, can you post other things? Absolutely. If you find where, you know, one day you want to post about a rant because Starbucks messed up your order, have at it. Your, your, your followers will, will probably stand behind you in solidarity and, and, and have your back. But if you're posting about golf one day and speeding cars the next day and podcasting another day, you're going to be all over the place and people aren't going to know where they fit in your content. So you need to pick one specific area that you're going to focus on and focus on that area. You want relevant content. Next up is engaging content. And engaging content should grab the user's attention and keep the user's attention. You want something that's going to, and you can do this with video. Video is great for grabbing people's attention. You can, you know, go out there and grab their attention with, you know, a strange, video or a unique image or you know a unique story you can also use the the caption to create storylines for each of your images and tell the story that way so you want to engage and have engaging content that people will want to comment on people will want to um, engage with this may mean that you end all of your posts with a question. 
And so that, that draws people in and makes them want to engage with you and they want to like it and they want to comment on it and start the conversation or engage in the conversation. And last but not least is shareable. You want your content to be share, sharing worthy, worthy of being shared with other people's tribes. It is, it means a lot for someone to share your content because that means they are co-signing what you're saying. They are standing behind what you've put out there. And so for someone to share your content, that's, that really is a big step, but you want to put content out there that's easily shareable. And so you want content that people will want to grab and take as their own and use someplace else, whether that be quotes, whether that be a video, whether that be a storyline, whatever it is, you want to think about your content being easily shared or content that could be shared. Think about that while you're creating your content. So that's what fires are. Number two, you want to use carousels. So within Instagram, you have the ability to upload up to 10 uh, images at one time. And a carousel is just this little scrolling uh, image carousel that allows you to scroll through different images so that people can see different things. If you are an educator or an inf information type account, then you want to be able to use this as a way for you to provide more information, more detail, spread out the information that you're providing to your, your, your followers, spread that out across 10 different images. They could be images that are all the same with different information on them, or it could be one long, beautiful image that has information on each, um, image. So as you slide through, the image is the same, but the text changes. The wonderful thing about carousels is that you will show up multiple times in your followers feed. So if they didn't go through and click through all swipe through all of your images in your carousel, when they come back onto Instagram, Instagram will serve that image up again. And so that gives them a second view of the image or of the, the post that you put out there. So that's a second reason for them to start scrolling through or swiping through your images. So that gives you two opportunities to get in front of your followers eyes. That's huge. The most important part about posting to Instagram after posting fires is your hashtags. So hashtags come in different sizes. So you've got your small, your medium, and your large. A small hashtag is associated with only a few posts. So when you go to Instagram and you're, you type in a hashtag, it can be any hashtag whatsoever. When you type in a hashtag, different posts show up from other people who have posted content associated with that hashtag. And so you can have some hashtags that will only show you a hundred or a couple hundred different posts. You can see another hashtag that has tens of millions of posts. And so those would be large hashtags. I like to say you need to diversify your hashtags. So you should use hashtags that are 20% large, 60% medium, and 20% small. So a small hashtag is anything that is between a thousand and I'd say about five, 6,000 posts associated. Those are small hashtags. I wouldn't go smaller than a thousand because oftentimes those are more branded hashtags or hashtags that only one or two people are using. And it may not be hashtags that people are following. So you're looking for hashtags that people are following and that people are looking for. So I would say select hashtags 
that have between 1,000 and five or 6,000 posts associated. That's 20% of your hashtags should be small hashtags. 60% of your hashtags, the hashtags that you use, should be medium-sized hashtags. And those would be anywhere from 25,000 to, I would say about four or 500,000. That's a gigantic range, I know. But you want to get in there and that's really the sweet spot. That's why I put it at 60%. That right there is where people are, are living. That's where the keyword magic is happening. So you want 60% of your keywords to be associated specifically with um, medium-sized hashtags. That's gonna be 25,000 to 500,000 keywords, uh, hashtags um, per post or posts per hashtag. And then last but not least, you want another 20% to be large hashtags. And large hashtags are 500,000 to 1 million. You want to stay under a million. Anything over a million, you're really gonna get just blown out of the water. It's important that you stick with those hashtags that you have a chance, you reasonably have a chance of ranking under, okay? So just keep that in mind, the 20, 60, 20 rule. Now, I'm using percentages because I don't believe that the number of hashtags is necessary. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be 30. So Instagram gives you 30 hashtags that you can choose from, um, that you can post on your Instagram post. You get 30 hashtags, any more than that, and they won't show up. So 30 hashtags, that's your limit. You can do all 30 or you can do just a handful. It doesn't matter. Um, a lot of gurus will tell you, oh, it matters. You need to do 25. You need to do 20. You need to do all 30. It doesn't matter. It's more than more important that your hashtags be relevant and the right size. That, that's what's important. You want to post fires and you want to uh, um, associate hashtags with those fires that are the appropriate size and relevant to what it is that you're discussing in your content. So that's the key. The key is actually the size of the hashtag and the relevancy of the hashtag. The number of hashtags that you use, throw that out your mind. Figure out which keywords and which hashtags you can find that are most relevant. That's the hard part is the relevancy of it all. So I'm gonna take a pause for the cause and ask you a quick question. Do you currently post fires in your Instagram? What type of content do you normally post in your Instagram feed? Comment below and let me know what it is you're working with here. What do you normally post? And are you seeing feedback from that? Is it engaging enough? The comment, the, the topics that you post on, is that engaging enough for your followers? I'm, I'm interested to know. Okay, let's keep going. Number four, post content that keeps them on Instagram. What does this mean? Instagram is like every other social media account out there. Actually, every other website out there because everybody wants you to stay on their platform, stay on their profile, stay on their website, for as long as humanly possible. I don't want you to go anyplace else. I want you to stay right here. Why, you ask? Well, the longer I can get you to stay here, the more ads you'll consume. The more ads you consume, the more money I make. And so that's why a lot of these platforms, their focus is on keeping you on it as long as humanly possible. And you will be rewarded by that platform if you do what they want you to do, which is to keep the people on the platform. You feel me? Carousels are great for this because people are just to swiping through your 10 images and then they wanna know what else you have to provide. That's why posting fires is so important because the more fires you post, the more people will stay and binge on your content. 
You want bingeable content, content that people are constantly scrolling through. You don't want them to scroll through their feed. You want them to scroll through your profile feed. That's what you want. And so in order to do that, then you can, then you should be posting fires as much as humanly possible. You never want to miss an opportunity to give them great content. Okay. And so another way that you can keep them on the platform is using IG stories and IG TV. So the, what's the difference between the two? I've had people ask me this quite a bit. IGTV are long form videos. Okay. So they're videos that are much, much longer and you can, you can post a 10 minute video on IGTV. Okay. IG stories is just a few seconds. And so you can post multiple videos that are just a few seconds. And there are a few, um, plugins. I'm sorry. I'm in WordPress world right now. Excuse me. Um, there are some um, mobile apps that you can download that will help you connect all of your um, videos together so that when you're on IG stories, you can just press um, record and it will record all the way through. It won't stop and it'll string everything together so that it's one long um, video as opposed to these little snippets of videos. So the difference really between IG TV and IG stories is length, the length of the video. But this is another way for you to provide engaging content. What did we say about videos? People love them. So engaging content, shareable content, content that makes people want to stay and in consume more content. You can post all of that on IG stories, IG TV and your IG um, feed. And that's how you get more people to you is by using all of the tools that Instagram gives you to use. And number five, if you have a physical location, you want to always tag your city. So if you have a physical location, if you sell at the farmer's market, if you are a food truck, if you are located in a city and you plan to get your followers from that local area, you need to be tagging all of your content with the city that you live in or the city that you're doing business in. Because a lot of people will use that city as a search mechanism. I might be searching for everything that's going on now in Charlotte, North Carolina, which is where I'm from. And so I can go onto Instagram and just take a look at Charlotte, North Carolina and start scrolling through all the different places, all the different posts that have come up that are tagged with Charlotte, North Carolina. So this is a great way if you are local and you're trying to get local followers, this is a great way to do it by simply tagging your content with the right um, city and state. So I've got something special for you. If you liked this video, you're really going to like my Instagram. You're really going to like my Instagram profile checklist. This checklist outlines what you should have in your profile and your bio and how your profile should look when, um, potential followers get to your profile. So when they get there, it should be complete. It should be, um, it should have the right image. It should have the right text. It should have a link. There's a bunch of things that it should have. So if you're interested, download now in the description boxes, the link, download the Instagram profile checklist. Thank you so much for dropping by and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you get alerted every time I drop a new video. I drop videos every Sunday and Wednesday morning. In fact, you should be on the lookout for my next video, which is going to be the seven tips to high converting landing pages. You don't want to miss that. So I'll see you in the next video. Okay. Bye.